Today we're announcing a collaboration between Jaguar Land Rover and Williams to produce the CX-75 supercar, to put it on the road as a cutting-edge technology supercar. I can't tell you how excited I am to be able to present this groundbreaking and historic moment in the development of the Jaguar Mark. We must announce a groundbreaking high-tech business association between two long-standing leaders in UK's motoring industry. Jaguar and Williams have entered a partnership, essentially, to develop certain new technologies with Jaguar, which will be applied to their road car, starting with this particular model that they've just announced. What that car contains is a very, very intelligent, small internal combustion engine. It contains two electric motors and a high-tech gearbox that's Formula One derived. It's obviously a supercar, goes incredibly fast, but I think the really important thing is it's a power pack for the 21st century. It's got an internal combustion engine, a small downsized uh, petrol engine, very similar to the technology that's going to be used in Formula One. We haven't got an explicit plan to go straight into racing, but clearly when you have a car like this, um, that could be an option for us. That car will be priced at around £700,000 and we will sell around 200 to 250. Formula One technology is increasingly relevant to every day motorists and in this project we're taking battery technology in particular that Williams has developed to run in Formula One in 2011 and we will be scaling that up so that, that same battery technology will be used in the CX-75 supercar. We would probably create around 100 jobs but the interesting thing with those 100 jobs is they're at the top end, high tech. Extremely specialist engineering is required to make this car work and to resolve the paradox. I hope that young people will be inspired by that project. What's going on in the British motor industry? Hopefully a lot of them will be eager to be part of this in, um, really sort of exciting future. The actual assembly and the build of the main components will all be done in the UK. 100% British R&D and 100% British manufacturing. It's building on technology which we have to develop in Limo Green and Range E. It combines this technology, brings in Formula One and other, other capabilities and technologies. If we look forward, we absolutely can see applications for parts of that technology into our future products. And you can expect to see within two years, we'll be bringing at least two of the parts of that technology into another car that we'll be able to sell on the, on the marketplace.